We have a Yeti on your left hand side. We have a Tervis Tumbler in the center and an Arctic 30 ounce tumbler on the right hand side. And with the floor camera what you're seeing is where it's really dark that's cold. Where it's orange or kind of has an orange color to it that's the ambient temperature of the air. So you can tell the, the top of the turvis where it's not really coming in contact with the ice, it's still staying pretty much ambient. And you can see that on both the Arctic and the Yeti, the tops are going to be fairly similar as far as their ability to hold the cold in. Looks like possibly No, uh, I'm going to say maybe. Maybe just a little bit more cold is coming through on the Arctic. That difference could be accounted for by the fact that I may have loaded that one first. I'm not sure, but they were all loaded within about a two to three minute period. So this has been... All three of these were filled about 10 minutes ago. So we're going to come back in a little while and see how the cold radiates out of the Arctic and the Yeti versus the Tervis, which obviously is, even though it may prevent sweating, it's certainly not holding cold by anywhere near the same level. Okay, we're an hour in, and still looks like the Yeti and Arctic are holding steady. Even though they're releasing a little bit of cold from the top, it's still... Much, much, much better insulation than the Tervis. Well, that's interesting. It seems like the Tervis cap is actually holding the cold in better, but that may be a result of the fact that all of the cold is being directed through the lids on the Arctic and Yeti cups versus cold coming out on the sides on the Tervis cup. So, 78 degrees, 64, 78. Pretty interesting. All right, we're three hours in. Both the Arctic and the Yeti seem to be holding strong. 
the temperature's down a little bit from earlier. And I would attribute that more to the fact that it's now 7 o'clock at night. Sun's not coming in the window. You can see here the Tervis is still putting out a lot of we're allowing a lot of cold to escape. It's interesting, I think that uh, the sides of these are actually reflecting some of the cold from the Tervis. Because when you get over here on the other edge, you can see it's like 76 degrees on the outside of that one. As well as... Same thing over here, about 76 degrees. Very interesting. Okay, so about four and a half hours in. And as you can see, pretty much still. Now one thing that uh, I need to mention is it's really hot at the top of this, which would make you think that it's not releasing cold. But what's happened is all of this ice has melted and there's just a big puddle of liquid down here at the bottom. And you come over here. You still got basically the ambient temperature on the outside. On the Arctic. Come over to the... Yeti, same thing. Inside. inside of the Arctic and the inside and I think that this is warmer and I've, I've figured this out over time I think this is warmer simply because the ice is all the way down at the bottom and there's nothing cold close to the top which is why you're seeing a lot more if you can look in there you actually see the silhouette of the ice almost at the very top of this Pretty much where I had it when we started. All right, and that's what we've been looking at through the IR, and you can see big puddle of water there at the bottom. I really don't even see degradation in the ice of either of these. Pretty much exactly where I left it. I'll tell you what, after four and a half hours, I think we've gotten all the information we need from this. There's really no difference between the Yeti and Arctic performance. And my old favorite, the Turpus Tumbler, just isn't going to hold a candle to either one. Thank you for watching this video. Have a wonderful day.